Welcome, this is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DivinningTheMuse.com with your Monday Tarot message from the Muse for the week of March 28th. And today I'm using Chiro Marchetti's Tarot Grand Lux, which you can find on Amazon. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, great way to start the week off. <laughs> All right, so the theme for this week is this major arcana card, which frightens the pants off of most uh, queerants. Um, it's death. And you can see the very um, gruesome mask, reminiscent of something like Phantom of the Opera or something. And then down here, the white rose. So this is a card of letting go. And so as a creative this week, it's really coming to a place of understanding what phases or aspects of your creative career and work need to be let go of? What project needs to be let go of in a big way? This is not like a ten of wands. This is death. So it's like perhaps you've you know worked this project to death. Perhaps you've worked this um, you know social media campaign to death. Whatever it is, you've worked it to death. So it's time to let it go because when you let go, something new blooms in its place and that's the thing to remember because it's hard to let go sometimes but that letting go makes room for something new and beautiful and your focus for this week is this beautiful card the queen of coins coins is the element of earth in the realm of home health and wealth anything you can touch taste or feel and the queen is the mistress of the element and you can see she certainly is in her element she's surrounded by the animals the birds um, her even the crown she wears is reminiscent of tree branches and the gold and beauty there the butterflies all of that that sense of abundant life which is an interesting contrast to the preceding card so your focus this week is on how do you bring life to beauty to new things how are you the abundant queen of coins and manifesting your creativity into the physical realm your action for the week is the three of wands. Wands is the element of fire in the realm of spirit, creativity, career, and work. Three is usually a number of creativity, of action. Um, so you can see this figure down on the shore, this airship, so to speak. And so look this week for a new creative opportunity. Um, it might be a creative project that's already in process that gives you an opportunity because we're at the number three, so it's not the ace. But there's something here that if you are willing to meet it where it, where it arrives, um, will have an effect on your creative work. So get out there. Your action is to get out there and meet it. And then finally, we end with another queen in the position of gift. This is the Queen of Cups. Cups is the element of water in the realm of emotions, dreams, intuition, and creativity. And this queen, again, the mistress of her element. She's deeply into it, surrounded by the fish, the sea, the beautiful things there. She knows how to master her emotions. She's very empathic. Look for a queen in your circle who can really understand your creative work and the deeper significance and meaning of it. Or Contrarily, be the queen of, uh, receive being the queen of cups, being in your element of creativity. So as we look at the story for this week, we have one major arcana card, two royals, and one what would be called a pip card in the minor suits. So we start off with this major arcana card, death. This is a reminder that there are things that need to be let go of. There is no beginning without an ending. And so what needs to end this week, it either as a creative phase or stage or as a creative project in order for something new to bloom? Then how are you the queen of coins? How are you manifesting beauty with your creativity in the physical realm so that others can enjoy and appreciate it? Then take action this week to meet a creative opportunity where it arrives. Don't wait for it to come to you. Get out there and meet it. And then finally, um, look for the gift of someone in your circle who is the Queen of Cups, who knows how to really connect with the deeper elements of your creative work and help you get it out there. 
And this is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DivinelyTheMuse.com wishing you divine musings.